Hey y'all, I'm Samuel, and this is House of Mouse. Today we are back at Disney Springs. I'm gonna check out what new merch they have at World of Disney, and then maybe check out some new snacks if there's some around. So are you guys ready? Let's go. Right, we made it into World of Disney. So let's see, and right away I see the spirit jersey that I was looking for. How cute is this? What's the front look like? Ooh. This one is $84.99. There's also the new churro ears. How funny is this? These are $34.99. A little chocolate dip on the top of them. And we also found some new Marvel Pride ears. I don't see a price on these, but I like the back of them too. If I find a price on Shop Disney, I'll insert a photo here as well. And I've located, they have a whole Marvel Pride display with the new lounge slide. Last year we had one that was b more black with all of the different rainbow colors on it. And this year it's more predominantly white. This one is $78. And this is a big backpack for a lounge fly. How cute though. And there's also a new hat here and this is $29.99. It's got Marvel and rainbow there for pride. And on the back here, got a little bit more also found a button-down shirt for Pride. Let's see what the back of this one looks like. It's got a little pocket here. This is $59.99. So we also have a Marvel Spirit Jersey sleeveless jersey, I guess you'd call that. It's got Marvel on the front in here, and then it looks like Iron Man there. Captain America. Oh, and Thor's hammer there. And then on the back, we've got a little bit more. Look, I think that's Loki. This looks much cooler to wear for the summer months. And to the right of the Marvel collection, there's more of the Disney Pride collection, which we saw earlier at Magic Kingdom. They've got a great display of it here as well. And I didn't notice this before. I don't know if this is a planter or what, but I love that glass color to it. It's kind of just got like a little bit of an iridescent. I don't know if it shows up on camera here. Neat. This I did not see at Magic Kingdom. It looks like there's a little crossbody or fanny pack here. This is $39.99. And we've also got a t-shirt here. And this one is $34.99. We've also got a kid's t-shirt there. And also we have a Pride zip-up hoodie. This is really light and thin, I like that. And on the back, we got the castle. This is $64.99. Kind of a tie-dye look to it, I like that a lot. Not only Marvel, but we have some Star Wars Pride merch here as well. Looks like we've got a kid's shirt with BB-8 and R2-D2 on it. Even some little figurines here. The Droid Factory. Ooh, and I really like these t-shirts. They've got a cropped t-shirt for Star Wars Pride. And this is $44.99. It's even got a little rainbow Star Wars on the collar. Oh, and check out how cute this is. I love you 3000. This is... Oops. There is just tons of Pixar toys. I was going to get the new Spirit jersey, but I think today I'm going to get the Marvel sleeveless Spirit jersey instead and wait because starting I think next month we're coming up here soon and I'm not sure on the date I'll have to find out if I find out before I post this video I'll insert the dates but pass holders will get 30% off instead of 20% off 
coming up here for a limited time. So I'm gonna wait on some of the merchandise to get when that 30% kicks in. So I am going to put this back on the rack. And I haven't seen any new Disney 100 merch yet. But I do still need to get this backpack for this lounge fly. And again, this lounge fly is $78. Look what I found. How funny is this bucket hat? It's got flower with flowers. And this is $29.99. Check out these new stitch hats. How cute are these? And these are $29.99. Also a new hoodie. $59.99. Ooh, and I really like this button down. I love these colors. This is $59.99. And then we've got some matching shorts here. These are $49.99. And a bucket hat. It's a stitch. And this is $29.99. a matching bag to go with it as well. This is big. This is $24.99. There's also kind of this paint splattered t-shirt here for Stitch. $39.99. Oh, I like the back. Experiment 626. And some shorts to go with it as well. These are $39.99. So lots of stitch merchandise. I even see some over here. A little cinch bag. Some new ears. Looks like a skirt. Or maybe that's skort. Yep, skort. And a little lounge set here as well. And of course, this time of year, rain jackets are always in season. Definitely have your options. And I still have this spirit jersey on my wish list. This one, oh, it's up here. $79.99. And of course, gotta get the matching ears as well. So all of this merchandise, I'll probably wait until the 30% annual pass holder discount. Oh, and look. You guys remember all that stitch merchandise I was just looking at? There's a matching water bottle to go with it too. $29.99. And they also have in that same pattern a little hoodie for kids. And another hat. And the t-shirt for kids as well. This t-shirt is $24.99. The hoodie is $39.99. And the hat, $24.99. So I did just get the Sleeveless Marvel Pride Spirit Jersey. However, as soon as they announce those dates for, or at least the starting date for the 30% off, we'll be back because I've already got my mental list. And Vera Bradley here. And look, I've got Little Mermaid. Duffels here. Got some purses or totes. And pillows and towels. This little tote is 140. It's cute. If you guys have been watching, you know this bag has been on my radar. The duffel. It's the top one up there. But I do kind of like this backpack also. The backpack is 150 and that duffel those are 160. I do have this Star Wars one. However, I think I need the Grogu one. Especially for our Disneyland trip coming up this fall. But I was also thinking about using that one for like a computer bag for our, both my laptops for work and my tablet and all my other junk for work. 
But then I was like, oh, would it be better to use a backpack for work and save that for travel? I don't know. I'm at a dilemma here. So I did a complete pivot and went with the backpack. And then I had the dilemma of choosing between two backpacks because the prints were different on both of them. However, I did have to talk to Tanner and I was like, well, which one should I get? Because I still want the duffel. And the duffel matched one of the backpacks but not the other. And I was trying to decide not only from getting the duffel or the backpack of which print. And we decided to go with the different one. I'll show you guys a screenshot of it here. Uh, but I got the one that's on the left because I didn't want to be too matchy-matchy. We decided it can be a little bit more coordinating. So Tanner just texted me that it is pouring back at our place, which is only about 11 miles from here. It was sunny and, you know, blue skies a minute ago, and now it's getting windy and the clouds are rolling in. So I don't know. I'm like, should I, should I risk it and go get something to eat and be caught in the rain? Or should I just head back to the car now? Well, as I'm walking past homecoming, I think my stomach is gonna win. And I might stop here and get that chicken sandwich. And we're gonna stop at homecoming and get some lunch here. So for my drink, I went with the Tropical Itch, which comes with your own bamboo back scratcher. I love that drink. Yep, and there it is. Thank you. And this Tropical Itch comes with Woodford Britain Barrel Select Bourbon, Plantation Oak FTD Rum, Cointreau Passion Fruit, Pineapple, and Lemon Juices garnished with your very own Bamboo Scratcher. Looks good. And this drink is strong. I ordered the fried chicken sandwich, but I did the Gardein vegan version. However, it did come with a remoulade sauce on here. So they're gonna make a new one. My food arrived for the second time. And so we got the vegan or plant-based chicken sandwich. This is with Gardein chicken. Uh, they brought it out before and accidentally had the aioli to it. So they just had to remake it. So I got double fries in that case, which was an accidental kind of bonus. But I had this before and this chicken is so good the way they fry it on here and maybe it's their oil. But I did get it plain, however, I added their hot sauce where I got a side of this because this hot sauce here is amazing. So if you guys come here, definitely ask for the hot sauce with your chicken, whether it's the Gardein chicken or regular chicken. I definitely will not be joining the Clean Plate Club today. That is so much chicken. I have to take off two of the pieces just to eat the sandwich because it's so it's piled so high. And then I just had the other two as like chicken nuggets. But that hot sauce. Oh, chef's kiss. That is what makes this sandwich. Well, I just finished lunch at Homecoming, and I told you guys that hot sauce is what makes that sandwich. It's so good that I had to buy a bottle, too. Well, I can definitely tell from these trash cans and from the benches here that it did sprinkle or rain a little bit while we were at lunch. Well, it's still sprinkling a little bit, and I now have my hot sauce, my backpack, and my spirit jersey. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and until next time, stay magical. Bye.